<laughs> Had to make a pit stop. Yeah. Rolling on into Subligna, Bear Bear. Going to Subligna. Guess I could speak on uh, memories of Subligna. Well, uh, personally, I was, uh, I've been involved with uh, three different promotions that have ran the uh, community center in Subligna, going uh, back to uh, 2009, the, the Southern Wrestling League, which uh, I was the commissioner Southern Wrestling League. That one lasted, oh geez, um, until about, I guess, uh, summer of 2011. So I guess that promotion lasted about just a little over two years. I think uh, maybe my favorite match of the Southern Wrestling League was um, January of 2010. We had Plowboy and the Southern Stud Waylon Rhodes in a bunkhouse match, and that one was that one was really cool. I, I love that one. It's up on my YouTube channel. I've got a, a All Roads Lead to Subligna playlist, and that's um, strictly for the Southern Wrestling League. And I, I need to add some more stuff. I've, I've still got all kinds of uh, footage to go through for that. I liked, I enjoy, I got a uh, Wild Thing Will Owens booked there and uh, had him wrestle Plowboy and that was really cool because uh, Will Owens is the uh, the real deal from Somerville and, uh, Somerville's a town in Alabama it's also a town here in Georgia so the uh, fans got kind of a kick out of that that was cool Remember, we did the uh, 10 Bell tribute to Nightmare Ted, Ted Allen. Rest in peace, sir. He, uh, he appeared on two or three of the shows, uh, I believe. I mean, I remember, remember Ted uh, frequently supplied the, the wrestling ring a lot of places in addition to, to wrestling on the, on the show. Well, then we got the uh, New Elite Wrestling, N-E-W. And that was uh, run by a guy named Cocky Chad Fuller. So we had a uh, tag team, Cocky and Wild. That was uh, Chad Fuller and Travis Lancaster. My favorite match would probably be the uh, uh, street fight between superstar Ryan Andrews and the Hellraiser John Arden, which again, that one's up on my YouTube channel, and it's, yeah, I was the uh, ring announcer. I also set up to do live commentary a lot of times 
and I for some reason I didn't it didn't resonate with me that that was a street fight either I'd forgotten or it wasn't you know marked on the on the paper I'll have to go back and look because uh, I'd feel real stupid if I denounced it as a street fight and then I didn't know what was going on <laughs> yeah so that one, that one lasted about um, uh, a little over a year because it was like they didn't run a show for they didn't run they didn't have a, an event for like six months I guess I'll give them two. I give it two years. I don't know. Uh, it was about. This is almost the same. They were, they were, both promotions were about the same. Although I think the Southern Wrestling League had more events than the New Elite Wrestling. And here, here we are with the uh, North Georgia Wrestling Alliance, the NGWA, which they. Got permission from what's the guy's name? Danny Dees, which I'm sure I've met him a couple of times, but I, I don't, I've never, I don't believe I've ever had much conversation or anything with him. So I don't really know him, but he was the. Uh, one of the uh, original NGWA promoters in the 90s. And, uh, uh, I was involved with that group in 2018 and 2019 when they moved from the Somerville Civic Center to uh, Subligna. And uh, they're still Still running, so I guess uh, 2018, here we are, 2021. So NGWA has outlasted them all. Although, I believe they probably didn't run a show for a while due to the COVID. not sure if I have a favorite match that I can really think of. Not sure. I really, I, I enjoyed the uh, shows at the Somerville building. It was an unusual building, but, um, It worked pretty well, and I was all about trying to trying to do as much as I could with like you know five camera angles and whatnot, just to just to be doing. Uh, nearly every bit of that that I shot is up on my YouTube channel. I guess I could go through and, and put the uh, other, there's one show that I've only got like a mat, one match from because because we, uh, we made a DVD. I believe, and I'm pretty sure that's the last DVD production I ever did was the uh, French Riviera uh, retirement event Frenchie's last dance uh, I believe I did I want to say I did I ran 30 30 of those off but I don't know
can't remember, man. That's been a while back. I, I don't, I'm not really doing DVDs like that anymore. I don't, you know, I sold off a lot of my equipment. I do not have a duplicator. I do not have the same software that I used to do, use. Um, let's see, is it this? It's coming up to my turn's going to be coming up here. There's Dollar General in the middle of nowhere. Looking forward to this, man. Hadn't been in a while. Hadn't been in a while. Looks like you're out in the middle of nowhere. And just happen to be a few other people there with you. 